Hi, I'm Christian Siriano, and you're watching Chic.TV. I know, Which so is many crazy. shows. Yeah, we have I'm a lot of shows today. Where am I going and what am I doing? Okay, so you actually have Christian Soriano in 10 minutes. You have to interview him backstage. Yes, you're going to have to run. And then don't forget you have Kimberly Oban tonight, too. Okay, okay, perfect. And then you had an early morning, right? What did yes. you do? I already hit the Nicholas K show and the Trina Turk presentation, which was luxurious and gorgeous. And what about you went to something yesterday, yeah, right? I had some free fashion week stuff. So yesterday morning I went to Soho House for Fratelli Rossetti and saw their new collection. And last night I went to One Oak and saw Minnie Mortimer's new uh, presentation. So very cool. And, oh, and I learned how to make the Chic Bikini at the Chic TV free fashion week party. So I'll do that for us. After we're done with everything. Wait. <laughs> yeah. And now are we airing the We Are Anne segment, which we talks are. about um, the femme military, which is so big right now with Ann Taylor? Yeah, uh -huh. Kristen Rockson is going to be talking to Sandy amazing. and telling her all about the good military law. So it's going to be amazing. Definitely people should check that out. Absolutely. And don't forget you have Richard Chai. So we have a lot of things today. <laughs> okay. Um, we should break. Yeah, bye. 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 here at Soho House talking with Diego Rossetti from Fratelli Rossetti and tell me a little bit about the company. Well the company has been founded uh, a little bit over 50 years ago by my uncle and my father and since the very beginning one of the principles of the company was to make a high quality product joined with uh, taste for style and for uh, innovation on uh, especially colors and workmanship. I infused a lot of color uh, a lot of textures. You know, the thing that drives me crazy is when you see a driving moccasin and it's so perfect and polished and you don't want it to get dirty. What I did with these is we washed these again and it already looks sun-kissed, like it's been sitting on the deck of your boat. And it's just so comfy and inviting that it draws you in and you want to put it on. What I'm loving is this chain detail, especially mixed with the leopard. Then we've got a belt in the chain detail as well. And oh, I love that. mixed back with the classic LBD, that just gives it a bit of an edge. Then a touch of military, you can also bring in a stripe. So I love to layer a stripe mm -hmm. underneath a cardigan. The jacket, also essential. Yeah. I think this is great with a skinny jean, and mm -hmm. I think this is perfect over a dress. What about the shoe? I'm loving this one. It's
by George Chakra, so that's pretty exciting. Wow. He has beautiful red carpet dresses. I'm jealous. I know. Be jealous. jealous. I will. <laughs> Everyone here at Fashion Week loves our accessories. And Emily and I actually spoke with Issa, who's a designer from Ann Taylor, who made everything we're wearing. So it should be a really amazing day again, girls. Okay. So super well, excited. Let's do it. See you next time. We're back with short chakra and tell me a little bit about what we're gonna see today. Gonna see a modern lady, very sensual, glamorous and elegant. Gonna see more than usual some curves in the body. Well, actually, it's a more of structure in a different way, in a smooth way, in a, even in the draping way. I use a lot of straps, bias straps, and it covers the body in, in a very, I think, chic and elegant. Who's the ideal woman that you'd want to see wearing a celebrity? All, all, wearing the, all women are, are, we are, are famous for me. Yes, okay, but any particular person that you have a gown just in mind for them? Blake Lively, Lively will be quite nice in it. and I are here talking with Isa, who's the design director for accessories for Ann Taylor. And um, we love all of these pieces. Tell us a little bit about the collection. It's an exciting time for us at Ann, and this is part of our fall collection and our winter collection. Um, we've been working on a lot of vintage pieces, um, and we have this amazing estate collection, which we're really excited about. Gorgeous. Stunningly beautiful. Gorgeous. Can we just show everyone how fabulous this is? I love it. <laughs> the new direction that we're going is, you know, this amazing classic woman that goes to work all day but has fabulous things to do at night too and go to a cocktail party or go to dinner. And this is, I think, a great way to take something from day to night. I think um, if you have a little black dress on like what you're wearing or your little suit for work, you can definitely like throw one of these necklaces up and go out to dinner or, you know, go to a cocktail party. So I think that this kind of makes your day sparkle. I am here with Fiona Chapani. Tell me about what your inspiration was. Um, I actually read a book um, by Isabel uh, Eberhard. She's a Swiss-born writer who actually moved to North Africa. It made such an impression on me that I actually had a vacation last December and went to the desert. I 
love blue. It's um, also one of the colors that I saw, you know, there that I was inspired by. Tell me about this lovely dress. Well, this made out of a lot of layers of silk. We're talking about hundreds here. Wow. <laughs> it's not that heavy though. It's very light and airy. So we really worked hard to keep everything airy. I mean, that was the whole theme throughout the collection. I am here with the Nicole Miller. You are one of the style icons, so you are definitely used to this. I mean, what number is this for you for Fashion Week? Um, our first show was Spring 91, so this is exactly 20. It's our, our 20th show. You're 20! Congratulations! <laughs> so, everyone knows Nicole Miller as being stylish and very classic, beautiful silhouette that really complements the body. Are we straying from that this season, or are we still going that route? I found a way to address that and do something different at the same time. And I played, played around with lengths and proportions, and I think I found a new way of showing short to make it, and making it long. So. And I'm looking around and it's not a lot of colors, very muted neutrals yeah. and lots of beautiful whites. Thanks. The show flows. It goes from light to dark. So it uh, starts with white and ends with black. I'm sorry I gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Vivian Tam, you're watching Shit Talk TV. Okay, day three fashion week, where am I going? Today you have Jill Stewart and you have Vivian Tam. Am I still hitting Zach Posen later? You are. Awesome. I know we're all super busy. Um, this morning I hit up United Bamboo, they had a great show. Then I went to Adam and he's amazing as usual. Um, and I have uh, Charlotte Bronson. Are we going to hit the after party with Charlotte Bronson? Of course we are, right? Why yeah. wouldn't we? Yeah, so we'll have, um, on the blog, we'll have all the details for that. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. And what about the We Are Ann segment that we're filming? Oh, yeah. yeah, so I met up with Lisa Axelson. She's the head designer of our Ann Taylor. And she basically showed me the entire fall collection, which is what we're wearing. Um, it's in stores, so check that out. One of my favorites is the jacket I'm wearing, which is a silk stretch coquet. And I love it because it's stretchy and super comfortable. It's got a little bit of a modern edge because it's got an asymmetric zipper so it can kind of have a cool downtown biker jacket appeal. But then it also has this you know, 40s French influence with the puff sleeve and, and the, the kind of vintage fabric inspiration. I love our camel coat. Uh, I'm obsessed with camel as a neutral in general this season so the camel coat to me is just kind of the perfect finishing piece. It looks amazing with anything. Jeans and a white shirt, throw it over your suit, over a beautiful dress. It's just the perfect outfit completer. And then I don't think any day is complete without a little bit of jewelry. So I'm, I'm a big fan of the entire jewelry collection and I think it's a fun way to dress up your ordinary work outfit and bling it up on a weekend with jeans and a t-shirt.
I'm here backstage with Vivian Tam. The first thing I noticed about your collection is all the detail. Let's talk about this amazing crochet dress. Yes, this is like an inspired, you know, the Jane Temple in India. I use lace to, to get the feeling of the Jane Temple. It was so beautiful because of beautiful intricate, intricate you know, uh, craftsmanship. Mixing all the prints, mixing fabrics, mixing lace and everything. It's, the, it's about the woman that, you know, she's traveling, she, she go in and, and, and pick up the things from the free market and mix them together. I want to talk about this uh, deconstructed chang sam. This is well traditional chang sam, and I have these two pieces like uh, deconstructed, make it together, become one piece. Yeah, you know, like she's like like in the free market finding all those uh, traditional costume and fabric. De I mean, deconstructed, you know, and become make it into modern clothing. What do we have today? Well, Lauren, you're going to milk today. And you have Green and Aaron Featherston. Fun. And I'm doing Layla Rose and Cuccia Barcelona. You are. And then after that, you're going to go to the W Hotel Flame Presentation. And Tommy Hilfiger. And Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah. We have a big day because we also have Diane von Furstenberg. Yeah. Oh, and we have a new segment um, from Ann Taylor, the We Are Ann series with Kristen Rawson. Uh, she's a stylist over there talking to Sandy about celebrity gifting. So if you want to look like one of these celebs, Go to the store, buy it, watch a segment, learn everything you need to know. I need Great. a bag. <laughs> I need a lot of things. Um, but right now I have to go to milk. So All right. So see you when you get back. I'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> Backstage at Preen, talking with the designers Justin and Thea, and tell me a little bit about the collection that we're going to see. Um, well, we went um, on a trip to Egypt, North Africa, and we were inspired by the landscape and the sort of arid, sandy, stony, beigey colours of of all the architecture, and then the amazing skies. So within the collection, you'll see lots of blues and lots of like stony, beige colours. And we tried not to take it too literally, so I don't know if it would jump out straight away. Um, it's a bit more of a subtle inspiration, I think.
The camel coat is one of those items that is a trend item. It's already been shot by Harper's Bazaar and by Vogue. This polka dot scarf we also thought was a key trend item. It's gorgeous, it's lightweight, it's cashmere, it's great for traveling. So we sent this out to a bunch of celebs too. This large quilted bag, I think it's a perfect bag. Chuck everything in. It slings over the shoulder, it's got this great shoulder strap. This is the Snow Leopard. It's a beautiful, sexy dress. The ruches are so flattering on, on people's stomachs. So I thought this was a fantastic one for celebrities. I am backstage with Leela Rose. Let's talk about your amazing Spring 2011 collection. This collection is really inspired by Lima, Peru. I love working with cultures that really have had, you know, just a history of embroidery and something that's passed down for generations by generations. It's so intricate. I was just going through the collection and every single dress, there's so much to look at. Well, thank you. I mean, it's so much about fabric and texture and color. That's what our collections are usually about. about the finale dress, which I just looked at. I will say I think that's my favorite dress that we've ever done. Stage at Custo Barcelona. You are well known for wild prints and feathers and cutouts. So tell us about your collection this year. Well, uh, we titled uh, Fiction and Reality, and in fact, it is the encounter of two different collections. One that represents fiction, and this collection is inspired by the uh, sculpture mobiles, the sculpture of Calder and the architecture, and the other collection uh, is inspired by the way that the group is are dressing when they go to music festivals. This is the fiction, okay? Uh, the sleeves are, are inspired by the architecture and is created by triangles. It's a puzzle of triangles and in the body we have micro geometries that we attach in, in form of fringes to create the movement. I'm backstage at the W Global Glam Collection. So this is a debut line. Tell us a little bit about it. We curate a collection of designers, fashion accessories, um, inspired by the properties opening or have opened. Vieques, London, St. Petersburg. And we have a collection of fashion accessories we're very excited to present today. It's very exciting this year for us to be at Lincoln Center after 13 seasons at Bryant Park. We're uh, very excited to move from backstage to center stage. Uh, WTLS has always had a a passion for fashion and uh, to now showcase uh, our very own Global Glam collection is quite exciting. So we're here at Milk Studios so here in Featherstown and tell me a little bit about your collection this season. Um, I always give the title of every year collection every season and this one is called Birds of Paradise. That was one of the points of inspiration for the season. Do you have any favorite pieces of the collection? Uh, right now they're all my favorites, <laughs> so <laughs> I love them all so much. So who is the woman that ideally you would want wearing your clothes? 
Well, I think, you know, I'm always really interested in a woman who's confident, who has her own self of style, and who wants to have fun with her clothing. Um, I think she's someone who's elegant and sophisticated, but she's not taking herself too seriously. She wants to look great, feel great, and go and you know, live an exciting life. She needs a good dress to do it. Natalie Morales with the Today Show, and you're watching Chic.TV. Can you believe this is the fifth day of Fashion Week? I can't believe it. I feel like it's the tenth day. <laughs> <laughs> you had a lot of this morning, right? I did. I hit that interview this morning, and I also spoke to United Nude, who's a sponsor who has super like high fashion shoes, and I ran into Denise Richards and had a quick interview with her backstage. Great. And you have such a cool day today. Yeah, I spent the night at Lincoln Center. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I started at 8 o'clock this morning at William Tempest show. Right. So he's so young, so talented, great show. Where'd I go next? He went to Carlos Neely, right? Yeah. Yeah. Another great show. And Love then to him. Tracy <laughs> Reese. And Tracy Reese caught up with my fave NBC correspondent Natalie Morales there. And Tracy had a beautiful collection, very downtown chic. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then one more, right? Alexandra Herkovich yeah. coming up? Yeah. On my way uh, in like two minutes. Wow. Busy, busy girl today. Busy. You're busy. Where are you going? Yeah, don't think you're off the hook. I'm hitting Betsy Johnson. I love her. I'm yeah. thrilled about that one. And Lauren, you met with Kristen Rawson, Styles Green Taylor, right? Yeah, she um, she hooked us up. She styled us for Fashion Week. Um, so I have video from when we went to Ann Taylor on Madison Avenue, and she uh, she did me up all night and pretty. Nice. <laughs> so watch that video. Well, you absolutely need to get going because you have a full day. I know. Bring me coffee. <laughs> We're backstage with Carlos Miele, and tell me a little bit about the collection. The collection is inspired in butterflies, the way they are fragile, how they transform during light, life. They are born in a cocoon, dark cocoon, and transform in beautiful butterflies that flies with, um, with the wind, I would say. And so we have like a, some transparent blacks, citrus blacks, and a lot of white and a lot of strong colors like lime, coral and blue. The shapes, there's a lot of movement but uh, they are sleek. What are some of your favorites out of what we're going to see in the collection? Kind of hard. I mean like, the last piece is my favorite one. It's like a, a dark cocoon with transparency is really nice. I love the last one. We're backstage and you just finished your show. Tell me a little bit about the reaction. Everyone's saying it was beautiful. Thank you. So I'm very happy. I've done this show in Brazil, uh, in my city, Sao Paulo, three months ago, and they repeat it here as usual. Uh, and the main idea of this collection is to um, is to work with colors, with solid colors, and sometimes they blend one of one on each other. And um, the basic idea is try to to build like a color stain uh, in each look. What was your favorite look out of the entire collection? It's so hard to say because the, the collection is not only what you saw at the catwalk, it's much more bigger. So those those 25 looks that were here at the catwalk are my favorites. Okay, Kristen, I'm really excited to see what kind of outfits you picked out for me for Fashion Week. So for our one-piece outfit, which we all love when we're waking up very early in the morning, simple, cute dresses, love the cargo dress, and here a great little print that can be belted quite sexy, it's got a few layers, ruching. So here I've got skinny leg pant and then several different tops that you can mix and match, depending on what you feel like each day. You can go a simple shell tank top, a camp shirt, or a sweater with a large necklace, and then you can put all of those together with an oversized cardi. And then also adding just like a little clutch is so fun. 
for a touch of leopard, which we love at Ann Taylor. Backstage with Milan Bertrand, tell us about your inspiration. The inspiration came actually from my travels to Paris as a boy and also I wanted to kind of take American sportswear and kind of meld it into like, well not so much couture but like pret a porter and, and kind of uh, use fabrics that were a bit more accessible and things that actually accentuated the body rather than taking away from a woman's body. You use lots of silks I notice. I love silk, it's my signature. I think um, I've, I've used natural fibers since I began and I really, um, it's very important to me. Very important. And it just drapes nicer, it's, it's got a better effect to it. And we had lots of surprises throughout the show. Yeah. The beautiful Irina Pantaeva. Being a part of it. But I was just telling her when I was a boy, when I would sketch my designs, I would always sketch with your face on my dresses when I was younger. So this is so much of a dream to come oh, true. It, it is my pleasure, really. Thank because, you. you know, being part of your creation, it's an honor. Hi, I'm with Denise Richards backstage at Milan Patron. What did you think of the show? I loved it. I loved the show. I loved all the pieces kind of had a nice 40s vibe to it. It was, the, the whole collection was really beautiful. Very feminine. Yes, in the weekend at Paris, we had dogs and fire alarms and dancers. It was <laughs> extravagant, wasn't it? Everything. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite designers? Tracy Reese, obviously. Yeah. The wonderful thing that I'm seeing is a real um, sense of trying to bring fashion back to the mainstream woman who doesn't want things to be too complicated, but yet you want to be feminine but feel empowered at the same time. I'm here with Rim D. Coolhouse, who is the creative director of United Nude. Welcome. So let's please discuss this wonderful shoe. Okay, this is a, a United Nude product. It's called a low res shoe. And it's basically a uh, regenerated uh, classic uh, pump, um, re regenerated by the computer uh, to get like a lower resolution uh, design, which then looks like a gemstone. So how long has this um, company been together? Uh, we started in 2003 and we now have a store in, here in New York on uh, 25 Bond Street.
I am Max Azria and you are watching Chic.tv. Hey girl, day six fashion week, can you believe it? Yeah! <laughs> I love day six, I get so excited for it. It's always the best day, I think. <laughs> it is, and today it's gonna be a really great day. You guys have so much stuff. Thank Bring it on, I know. <laughs> Already went to Vera Wayne today, right? Yes, her collection is to die for gorgeous, gorgeous. And Lauren, you have a big interview today with Max Asprey backstage for the Urban Legion. I'm yes. jealous. Yeah, I know. Um, no, I'm really excited to talk to him, especially I love his bandage dresses. Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah. And you have Tibby and, and Luke Luba. Right. And I'm interviewing um, Amy Smalovic and Tibby afterwards. Love her. And she's so lovely. I interviewed her last fashion week. Yeah. Mm. And Lauren, don't be jealous because today you have the Mark by Mark Jacobs show at the Armory. Oh, oh okay. give me a purse. <laughs> I give myself a purse. <laughs> <laughs> and then you also have to go to Chief Star today. Okay. Oh, I love Chief Star. They have the best show. They, they really do. They know how to bring it on. Absolutely. And you guys look amazing to see your I know. I like your animal print. I like your animal print. Oh. Ben Taylor. Yes. <laughs> that was, uh, Kristen totally hooked us up. Everything top to bottom and I'm kind of fabulous, right? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> and so that's going to be featuring our We Are Insects, right? Yes, today. Amazing. Okay, so Lauren, you have to run to the army. I know. Yeah. I'd love to stay in talk, but Mark Jacobs, Bye. I know, I know. Bye. Bye. We're backstage at Hervé Lachey talking with designer Max Azria, and you're one of my favorite designers. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Tell me a little bit about what we're going to see today. Uh, so we are going to see uh, a very sexy uh, co co collection, uh, as sexy as usual, but stay with the classic part. Uh, wh what is the really news is that uh, is that the dress are shorter that usual and they are on the, on the top of the knee and the color are completely changed is is not a, okay it will be black and brown but it's not about black it's all about white and light beige and lime green pink and that it brings to the dress uh, another vision right and now where do you get your inspiration when you design uh, your collection oh I sit on my chair and I said, what did I don't do that I, I have to do and it's the right moment to do it. And um, on this collection, a long time I didn't present on Hervé Léger, uh, bright, light color and pastel color. Uh, I wanted more, more cool and, uh, and, 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 and more chic and in the same time more sexy. So I hope that you will find that. Great. And now, what is the ideal woman that you want wearing your, your dresses? It's a woman that she wants to look pretty. And she understands there are no secrets. A woman has to look pretty, period. <laughs> like a man, he has to look good. Okay, we're backstage at G-Star with the designers, and uh, wow, you just did a little switch. <laughs> um, tell me about what we're going to see tonight. Well, we're going to show like the typical G-Star signature of three-dimensional jeans in combination with desert elements, with a beautiful color palette of off-white, beige, and black and blue. How 
is it to change up denim? But we, that's how we work every day for us. It's yeah. not like, it's not something we're thinking about. It's like, it's, that's our whole mindset. It's only thinking like that. Yeah. And every piece has been made in our in-house atelier. Mm -hmm. And uh, so all year round, people are working in this atelier, testing things, working on it. And it's all start from denim, always. So, Fashion Week's coming up, and what have you pulled for me? Let's start with the cocktail dresses. That's the fun part. Okay, so we have two really cute little numbers here for you. That one in maroon with a touch of colour and some fantastic jewels. Love the jewels. Great. Fantastic. And then a little fringe black for top dress. That can take me from day or night. Absolutely. Then I've got these two skirts. This one, based on the military trend, it's great. It'd be very slimming and also easy to wear with some prints. Oh, it's fabulous. I love that. Throughout the day, you'll have lots of notebooks and extra things that you need to carry in a big tote bag. And we're New Yorkers, so we always need big bags. I'm backstage at Luca Luca with Raul Melgoza. Tell me your inspiration of the show. The inspiration was the Sydney Opera House. I took a trip last fall a cruise from New Zealand and into the Sydney Opera House. So coming in at sunset, looking at this massive, beautiful uh, landmark building that's based really on geometry. And I've always been inspired by architecture. So there's a lot of triangular construction in the clothes, but at the same time, there's very soft clothes, pieces to the clothes, because it's this juxtaposition of the, the sailboats against this like massive, amazing piece of architecture. So I try to convey soft and hard in the collection, but overall it's, it's very billowy, it's, as you can see, in this beautiful wash silk piece, which is almost like a tunic, and it's very, you know, with a belt, it could be very poolside, you can even be wearing a, a bathing suit underneath, so it's this idea of easy, fresh, clean. I like clothes that are versatile, I like clothes that are investment pieces that are in style but they don't scream a season because I think women now really want to get value and I think that that's kind of something that that I always try to to incorporate in my designs. This is a collaboration that we did that I designed the makeup and Amy designed the fabric based on our inspiration of cool tones with a little bit of pretty pink. And just thinking about the Bobby Brown brand and Tibby's known for prints and color and we just wanted something that had edge to it but that was really pretty and feminine at the same time which I think is right. like sums up our customer. I love we, it because they're very cool tones, they're beautiful gray and then if you want to make it stronger, fine, smoky, it's everything. I'm in the house of Tibby with Amy Smilovic. Tell us about the inspiration for the Spring 2011 collection. It's all about American sportswear, about a lot of separates and Really just having things that you can wear and feel uh, very polished and put together in, but completely eased out and relaxed at the same time. That was really important to me this season, and I don't know, maybe with the economy and everything, you feel like you don't have the luxury of like designing, you know, a sack that goes around your head and then <laughs> functions as a dress. It was more about having things that real women want to wear during the day and in tonight and just have lots of different functionalities to it. Is there one color that you'll see throughout the entire collection? I think blush, nudes, whites, all these shades of white were really important this season.
being a model, no matter what, we're always going to be perceived as being fashionable, even if we're wearing a garbage bag. But, um, <laughs> you know, I just try to be me. Hi, I'm Nanette Lepore, and you're watching Chic.TV. Can you guys believe this is the second to the last day? That's it. It's been and seven tomorrow. days. Crazy. I know, I know. It's nuts. You guys want to meet up next week and just do this whole thing over again? I think we, so should we can have, have our so own fun. fashion week. Play by play. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Deal. Okay. What are we doing, Pam? Well, Lauren, you had the last this morning, right? I did. The collection's beautiful. It was African inspired. Um, yeah, beautiful dresses. I really liked it. And then I went over to Nanette before. She had um, very bright pieces and she also debuted her swimwear collection. Ooh. And Emily, you have three shows today. Yes, Michael Kors is first, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to Gotex and speaking to Molly Grad. What's my third one? Anna Sweet. Anna Sweet, that's right. And both of you actually met with Kristen Ross today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kristen Rossin, the stylist over at Ann Taylor, she spoke to us about what she saw on the runway this season and how we can take those looks and do it ourselves at home. Great tips. Yes. And now you have to run to Michael Kors. Yes, Michael Kors. I'll see you later. Okay. Want to get coffee? Yeah. We're backstage with Nanette Lepore right before your show. Tell me a little bit about the collection that we're going to see. The collection was inspired by the idea of just going back to work and the idea of handcrafted clothing in New York. So it was, I felt inspired by the idea of work clothes and aprons and wrapping on your apron and going to the workbench and just feminizing it and the idea of just getting, you know, the economy back. American manufacturing back, then, you know, beautiful long flowy sundresses, sort of taking it to the other level where you just really want to be feminine. Beautiful, and I've been looking at a lot of the pieces and it is very bright and colorful and beautiful. Um, what kind of woman do you see wearing your clothes when you picture, when you're designing? Well, this time it's a sexy carpenter yeah. <laughs> with lots of lipstick. So it's always different, but I really pretty much have a following of, of women who go to work and women who, you know, buy clothing that they need for their everyday lives. So from like playtime to work and you know, more importantly, a lot of times I would, you know, people wear me to like weddings and stuff. I'm always getting notes on the website. Like I wore this on my first date. Like I love those kinds of notes where my clothes just make women feel sexy. It's good to know that you're there for women when they want to feel good. with Molly, the creative director with Gotex. Yes, and it's a beautiful, beautiful collection. Tell us kind of uh, your inspiration. Well, I think the main idea was to have as many women as possible love the collection, and I think there's a little bit for everyone in there. Um, we have a lot of print, a lot of color, a lot of beautiful shapes, solids, and a lot of embellishment, so there's a lot of special pieces. Everything is so fabulous, and I just want to be on a yacht, so that's your inspiration. <laughs> I think it's for the kind of woman that has a gorgeous ready-to-wear wardrobe and she wants her swimwear and beachwear to match. Mm -hmm. And in a way I had in mind the kind of women that goes, they go on a cruise or a vacation and they just want a gorgeous wardrobe starting from going to the beach and then afterwards to a little party or, you know, just to lounge. So it's literally the perfect cruise wardrobe. 
And now I have to ask, um, as a swimwear designer, did you grow up on the beach? And yes, that... I did actually. Oh, really? Okay. So um, is that kind I of why you? Israel, so very close to the beach. And I guess I just saw it all the time, and it's quite inspiring because it's a lifestyle, you know. Yes. Um, so definitely. Do you think some of your pieces you can wear from daytime to nighttime? Yes, definitely. I think um, towards the end, there's a lot of very high glamour, chic, glitzy pieces. And it's almost like some of them could be worn as swimwear, very glamorous swimwear. Some of them could be worn as bodysuits, an evening skirt or something a bit more elaborate. And I think they're quite versatile. How fun is this? Here we go. I think first of all to me it's all about fabric because it's a double-sided shiny lurex but super light. And then on top of that you have the royal blue embroidery and the, the crystals. So it's a gorgeous caftan. We're at Lincoln Center talking with Kristen Ross, and she's a celebrity stylist over at Ann Taylor. And Kristen, what have you been seeing on the runway so far? It's just such a beautiful breath of fresh air. The spring collections are always my favorite collections. They're crisp whites, whites at everywhere in every single collection. White is the new camel. So there's white shirts, white skirts, white blazers, white accessories, which are gorgeous. And then pared down, with still a lot of military, key military pieces. I really love the maxi dresses that we're seeing on the runway this season, and I'm curious because I'm tall and I love wearing maxi dresses, but is it for everyone? I think because you're tall, you're so fine, you can wear it with a flat and you could belt it and that will give it a bit more proportion. For someone that's a little bit shorter, add a heel with height and then they can wear a maxi dress. Okay. So tell me what a huge styling tip that you've learned this week while being at Fashion Week. I think this, this week I've seen clean, minimal looks. So it's all about key separates. It's bringing back your classic white shirt and mixing it up with maybe a military inspired skirt. But you can always bring back your classic essentials like a trench coat and mix that in with more of a key item trend that you're seeing this season. Which is huge at Ann Taylor. When I think Ann Taylor, I think of the classic white shirt. Classic white shirt, classic trench coat, beautiful pencil skirt. We have them all. at the Bill Blast presentation talking with Jeffrey Montieri. You're the creative director here. Mm -hmm. um, and tell me a little bit about the collection. The collection is based on a book I found called African Elegance. And I, I just looked, we, called, we coined it the Bible during the design process. Every time we had a question about the collection, we came back to it to, to look at the colors and the textures and the way these, these tribe put together their they're, you know, they're kind of uniform in a way, so, so there's, there's a little bit of a, a uniform theme going on with the collection as well, but I tried to evoke all the spirit of this book in the textures, the colours, and the, and the ease and effortlessness, as well as elegance. Okay, and what is uh, one of your favourite pieces? I was, I've been asked this question a lot, if there isn't one particular piece, I like, there's so many pieces, like, and it shifts and, and it ebbs and flows, like sometimes like, oh I love this one, and then I'm like, oh I love that one, you know, every time you look at something along the other, you notice different things about it. And what women do you see wearing uh, the collection? What well, kind I, of see, I see many different women. I, you know, I see a woman who's like comfortable with herself and has a, a faceted life. She has you know, many interests and many aspects that she has to dress for. And I like the idea that we dress her from day to evening. You know, we dress her through all the different phases of her life. 